In this video, I will show you a cool command that I just learned. It allows me to basically do counting of the objects we see in the current drawing. So the command is called count. I'm sure it's an older command, but I just got to test it and I thought it's really cool actually. So I'm going to type count, we're going to hit return, and then it's going to ask us to specify the first corner point of the count area. So I'm just going to select this floor plan that I created before. And then uh, it's asking to select the target objects. For now, I'm just going to hit return. Okay, and then it will show me a list of all the blocks that are within the selected area that I drew earlier. Okay, and you can see here, it's showing, for example, I will focus mainly on the door Imperial, and you can see it actually highlights. If we look at the dishwasher, it's highlighting it, and then the equipment, the hood, it's showing it here. Okay, so this is pretty cool. This is the bed. We're looking at the plan view, calicing. I, I made these blocks before, and that's how I named them. So anyway, let's focus on the doors. So let's say we want to create a table with this information, okay? We're going to hit the button create table and then it will ask us what are the objects or the blocks that are we that we would like to include within this table so what i will do is i will actually select the door imperial and obviously they're highlighted and then i can hit insert and then you will see that there's a table attached to the cursor it's actually not visible you might not see it but if i zoom in you will be able to see it there's a table right here and then it's giving us a breakdown of the item name and then it's basically noting the open direction so there's uh, three doors that are open in 45 degrees and then seven doors total open in 90 degrees so i'll place it somewhere here all right and then i will zoom into it and then you will see that these numbers are actually like this text within this table is actually part of a field and if you're not familiar with fields in AutoCAD, I'd recommend you look into it. I don't think I talked about it before, but anyway, it's just something worth checking uh, on. So after I created this, obviously I did the count, I did the table. So what I will do is I'll actually close this for now and I'll close this. And then this table, I will actually, I'm able to resize it. So I will just type 12, just so we can kind of see it clear. I will double it one more time. I'm just selecting it and doing scale a few times. And actually I will place it here and then another thing I was trying earlier is that let's say we change the door quantity within this so let's say I just copy these doors and I place them somewhere here and then so now we technically should have more doors within the area we drew and you will notice that there's a box here again you might not notice actually it's very hard to see the color that they chose to set up with this command is pretty dark and it's also transparent let me see if i can switch the uh, the transparency on it i can make it a little lighter okay i think oh it is locked so that i wasn't able to modify the transparency but anyway let's say we select this table and then we type update field then you will see that the doors now so i will do undo one time okay so you will see earlier it said three but now now that we added these two doors within that same area and i will select this table i will type update field that's the command it will switch the value from three to five so even though that even though that the quantity changed of the blocks within this selected area, it's actually automatically tracking it within this view and it's updating the table. So I think you can do a ton of work basically using this command and using the table and be able to easily pull quantity of objects as long as they are blocks and also that you are using the same block name if you have multiple like let's say if each door was a different block with a different name then this method wouldn't work so that's pretty much it for this video let me know if you have any questions see you in the next one